What is up guys, welcome to another video and today we're going to be discussing Forza 6 and my opinion so far. Now before we get into that I want to say sorry that there is like nothing big today. I've run into some PC issues and it is so hard to even make this video because my PC randomly freezes every 5 minutes which is really annoying. But hopefully that's going to be solved in the next 20 minutes. Um, I'm doing something to solve that. But you guys don't care about that, you guys want to hear about Forza 6. So, you know, let's talk about that. So this is actually my reply to someone else's reply to someone else's reply. I watched Ninerfan Gaming's video and his his video was a reply to Jay's video, Jay Pennant's video. Um, so I guess I'm doing a reply of a reply of a reply. But regardless, four to six, my opinion so far, am I, you know, convinced? I'm not sure if you guys remember. In February, I was just like, I'm not convinced to buy this. I've made a video about it. I just wasn't convinced. I was like, eh, I mean, is, is that it? Now, obviously, we've come out of E3, we've got a bit more stuff, and I guess I've got a bit more, uh, you know, information to talk about the game and stuff, so, yeah, let's do this. So, am I convinced? To put it in short, no. Um, th I mean, okay, there's more stuff, you know, it looks cool, but uh, really, for me, it is still 4 to 5 with the season pass, and that's it. And eh, for me, personally, it's just not enough. What the fuck are they doing? Forza 6 was one of the best uh, Simcade games of all time. Forza 5, I don't know why on earth they dropped the ball with that game. They really dropped the ball now. I guess you can cut them some slack because obviously it was a next gen um, a launch title. But even then, I mean, if it's a next gen launch title, it's your opportunity to show a completely new fan base what you're capable of. Not, not deter your original fans away, so they're not going to play Forza 6. Now, I've played Forza games since Forza 4. Um, I've got Forza 4, Horizon 1, Horizon 2, Forza 5, and that's it so far. Um, I didn't. I, I mean, I guess I played Forza 3 at some, some people's houses, but really, I mean, if you say what games have you played personally, I've played 4 all the way up until recent day. Um, so I, I guess I kind of am... I'm, I'm in an adequate position to answer this question. I don't know what the fuck they're doing. I really don't. Where's, like, a Niner said this in his video, where's car clubs? Um, the even, like, little things, like the auction house, how you can't pay for or, for liveries now, and how that kind of aspect of things had to it. Where's Fujimi? You know, the drift track that was on Forza 4. Um, so many things are missing, you know, the, 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 the car list is also, you know, very shit right now. <laughs> like, let's be honest, like, it's not great. It's like they just don't listen to the fans, and I don't understand why. Now, don't get me wrong, you know, Forza 6 can be a great game but as of now I'm not in I'm not interested in what they have to offer I'm not, I'm not gonna pre-order or buy the game um, one idiot commented like oh we know you're gonna buy the game hippo why are you saying this I'm saying this because I'm fucking not gonna buy the game because it looks shit <laughs> we, we can campaign about you know having all the DLC and you know companies not actually listening to us but if you buy the game it completely contradicts that and there's no point even campaigning in the first place and that's what I'm doing you know turn 10 and Microsoft are being real shady with you know the whole Forza series and to be honest, they ain't getting my money if they don't put any work into it, you know, I mean, Night Night is only on like two tracks, you gotta, have, like, that's a fucking joke. I'm not buying their game unless they do some work, I guarantee I'll probably put more, more, more effort into my videos, I'll probably put more effort into my documentary than whatever they've done with Forza 6, I don't know, you know, like, to say that they won't add day and night into every single track because it's hard, come on, come on, like, grow a pair. Now, this isn't a hate video. I mean, I still probably will buy I'll buy the next Horizon game, definitely. But as for the Motorsport series, I can probably say unless they wow me with something mad or unless I can, you know, um, purchase it in a sale, they've lost a fan. And I think for them, you know, slowly losing pr pretty hardcore fans, it's, it's a pretty dire thing. The only way they're going to win me back is if they literally announce that they are going to have Forza 4 Remastered. And, and, and by that, I don't mean literally Forza 4 Remastered. I mean, basically bring Forza 4 to next gen. You know, basically what Need for Speed have done. They've brought Need for Speed to next gen, if you know what I mean. Um, and that's the only way Forza are going to win me back. It's definitely not going to be this year. Um, I'm done with the Forza Motorsport series. So... I mean, that's just my opinion on things. Horizon, I'm probably going to play, but man, it's disappointing to see that the Motorsport series is really going down the alleyway it's going because it had potential. It had potential. Maybe I might buy it in the future when it's on sale in the pre-owned section at game, but as of now, nah. So that is the, today's video. 
you know, I've got strong opinions, and I, I, it's been a while since I kind of did one of these sit back and commentate, you know, videos. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, hit like, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one, guys. Stay safe and peace.